So I'd like to talk about how our bodies are being bombarded by um, frequencies such as, as electromagnetic frequencies from the wiring in your walls to your television set to the radios and the cell phone towers, especially your cell phone. Um, this creates to disturb our frequencies and to uh, disconnect us from our true realities. Um, also, the foods that we eat, the chemicals in your foods, the chemicals in your water, the chemicals in the air, um, also destroy our body, which is like a computer. It's a biochemical machine that interprets frequencies into our reality. Um, also, I want to say that um, also our mind is being bombarded, how we think. Our mind is like a magnetic resonance. It's a magnetic frequency that controls our body and how, our, how we feel. And it also controls what we see out there into our reality. So, you know, we may all agree that the roads and the houses and the walls, they all exist. We all agree, but we all have our own, uh, our own frequency. We have our own uh, unique fingerprint. We have our own unique way of looking at the world, and that's being bombarded as well. Um, I um, also want to say that, um, you know, the Schumann frequency of the Earth is 7.5 hertz. And, you know, the, there's this universal love frequency that, that's coming to the Earth from the sun, sun and from other stars um, that's trying to help people of this world to um, evolve into a type 1 or type 2 civilization, which uses, harnesses the, the solar rays of the sun and other stars to, to, to um, power our, our technology and to live harmoniously and freely in this world and to, to go to different dimensions and worlds. Um, but this is being all stopped by the, our leaders, our government, um, the bankers, the industry, the corporations. Um, because they want to keep us under control, they want to keep us in fear, and they want to keep us their slaves. Um, but this can all be uh, eradicated if you just um, eliminate the fear and go into love, which is being harder and harder to do because our bodies are being bombarded with chemicals, with fear. It's being bombarded with food additives. It's being bombarded with cancerous chemicals, with cancer, heart disease, viral infections. Um, we have so much to fight right now that we, we don't have time to sit back and meditate and to think about things that are very important, such as freedom. True freedom and true love and true happiness comes from access to different dimensions and different worlds. Um, our brain works like a Fourier transformer. Your Fourier transformer is like a mathematical principle. It's a device in your television set that transforms um, the frequencies to the images and the sound on your television set. So when you're sitting down, you know, that's how our brain works, is we can actually access the future and the past in different dimensions just by closing our eyes and using our third eye to access the future and different dimensions. That's how Nikola Tesla has invented most of his electrical inventions um, through through closing his eyes, going to sleep, and 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 touching and feeling all the all the walls and the buildings. Um, Albert Einstein has also a genius. Um, a lot of his inventions are created through um, you know access to different frequencies. Um, I would like to say that, you know, that's how the brain works and we are being bombarded by electromagnetic cell phone towers are a big culprit. Um, um, chemtrails, um, harp, um, all these things are, are big, big uh, no-nos. Um, but I was told during my near-death experience when I died, when I actually physically died, that, um, you know, I, I was told the truth and I was told how my mind works. And I actually experienced how my mind works because when I was coming back from death, I saw everything as energy. I saw everything as frequency. And I saw different dimensions and I saw different worlds. And so I'd like to kind of, you know, go over that, um, that this M theory, quantum theory, uh, the pituitary gland, um, the DMT, dimethyltryptamines, and the hypothalamus and the brain, how we see reality, that's all true.